How did it feel to hit that walkout home run? I didn't come back. Bill Mazeroski, Pirates, Joe Carter, Blue Jays, Louis Lappy, El Segundo, Little League World Series. What do they all have in common? Walk off home runs to end the World Series. We are here, Angel Stadium, it's gonna be Angels and Orioles today, and the El Segundo Little League team that won it all is also here today. And I'm also here with Tony T. Let's go. I think they're coming in right behind you, Tony. You know what that is? Yeah, it's Clutch Yeah, what's up? How you doing? Congratulations Thank to all you. of you. We're all just waiting to go in right now, and here you go. The Little League World Series winners, El Segundo. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Yeah, you guys excited for today? Yeah. Jackson Jackson, man. Getting our ride down to uh, BP right now. Why don't you look at that? Let's go, Tony. We ought to be the first ones out there today. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We got this. Dang, dude. Tony, they getting that special, special treatment. Yeah, the Angels are treating them right. That's how they should treat them. Yeah, look at them. They're, they're big leaguers. They're going beyond the field. So they were all just out here, but the Angels are actually letting them see the clubhouse. Did the Dodgers do that? I love what the Angels are doing. They're treating these guys like the World Series champions that they are. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate that. They're going to remember this for the rest of their lives. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And since they're down in the clubhouse right now, Tony and I have BP all to ourselves, <laughs> pretty much. Right? There's this, nobody this here. This is great. No yeah. one's here. And they're back. And all they're right. back. <laughs> Love it. That's how they should be treated. Yeah. Carlos is doing a little photo bomb with El Segundo right now. <laughs> Half of them don't even know he's back there. Yeah, they don't even know he's back there. <laughs> hey, Danny, that's my buddy behind you. Look, my buddy behind you. Looks like a 12 year old to me. Yes, he is. Much better treatment than the Dodgers. Tony, did they even let him pass this at Dodger Stadium? Dodger Stadium, they couldn't go past a certain point. Yeah. And what happened when they first got here? Took it off and let him keep he going. Said, you guys, come with me. Yeah. They're treating them like the big leaguers that they are mm -hmm. because they won the Little League World Series, and that's how you should be getting. Mm -hmm. That's how you should get treated. They're all about to get interviewed here with Gooby and Erica. <laughs> <laughs> He's totally distracted. Make sure you put that on the blog. <laughs> it seemed like you were more concentrating on Spidey than Mr. Gooby when he was talking. What was that all about? Kind of boring. Kind of boring? Kind of boring. He's more, Spidey's more, a little more excited? Yeah. Okay, great. You gonna see the, 100%? Appreciate it. So you know you're gonna, this is gonna be on the blog, right? You cool with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's what I'm talking about. Very simple. How did it feel to hit that walk-off home run? Uh, it felt amazing. It feels like you're just like levitating, just yeah. floating around the bases. You feel so great and have a lot of emotions running through your body. Oh, yeah. And as a teammate perspective, how are you feeling when he hit that home run? Uh, I was feeling really good, but on, I'm talking about on cue right now. We don't have beef, but it was better than your walk-off. <laughs> <laughs> Saying his was better. I yeah. agree with that. I agree too. I mean, slow pitch softball, no, mine was baseball. Way, way <laughs> yeah, way, way better, dude. You won the whole Little League yeah, World Series. Beef, no nope. beef, no beef. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, enjoy this whole day. You guys are up in a suite, yeah? I hope so. Yeah, that's what I've heard. It's the room. You told me this, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, they're up in a suite, bro. Angels are treating them right. What did you have for breakfast when you hit the before you hit the home run? Uh. I can't remember. Think hard, brother. Probably steak and baked potatoes. No. Come on, what'd you have? What'd you have? I think I, uh... Any eggs, bacon, hash browns? Yeah, I think we did the, uh, uh we ate the breakfast Literally gave us. Oh, yeah. Was, uh... <laughs> okay, so you had that. So every time you play in a big game, you should try to have that same meal. What do you think about that? Uh, normally I try and switch it up or else I'll get bored, but, uh... <laughs> But you just hit the biggest home run besides Joe Carter. Oh, shaking your head now. I'm never having that breakfast. The eggs smell like pool water. But besides that, it was good. <laughs> wow. But you know who Joe Carter is? Nope. Okay. Nope. After this interview, after this interview, go home and look up Joe Carter. He yeah. did exactly what you did in the World Series. You guys have something in common. You guys have something in common. All right? All right. I will look him up. These are the kind of people I hang out with. <laughs> this guy. 96, right? Was at the party? Birthday 96? party, yeah. <laughs> Carlos had the Little Leaguer sign his hat. 
That's pretty sick. What's up, boys? How are y'all? We get Connor Green on the thing. Unless he's riding that damn motorcycle. He shouldn't be riding. <laughs> he shouldn't be riding that. Yeah. What up, dog? Hold, hold up. Get that thing off video pause. Yo, what's up? What's up <laughs> yes, sir. How you been? Connor, I'm with Gunner. He told me. Reckon, I reckon you're gonna get hit tonight. He said you'd smile. Yeah. He said. Miss you, Granny. All right, thank you. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better yeah. days. You guys went down to the Angels Clubhouse, right? Yeah. yeah, they gave you guys hats. Yeah. Trout was down like there. Trout it, yeah. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Look how many baseballs you got. Yeah, they, I found I found some in the cages. Oh, he just found some. Oh, you need a ball. Oh, you didn't even have a ball to throw out the first pitch, bro. All right, here you go, 21. And oh yeah. And that's why they won the Little League World Series. They're good at what they do. That was really cool hanging out with the Little League World Series champions, meeting a few of the players as always. But this weather kind of matches where the Angels are at right now. Dark, depressing, gloomy. That's how I feel as an Angels fan. Allie Rutschman leading off. And Mike Moustaki, scrape, backhand play, yeah. Ryan Mountcastle out of the two spot, and that gets passed. Oh, he, he's not getting that. No. Nah. Santander, that should be an easy fly ball for Grichik in left field. All right, two outs. And, all right, that'll be right there. Just go the short way, three outs. All right, we're good. No trout, no Tawny. It, this late in the season, it doesn't even matter. But you know what matters to Nolan Shanwell, his first career homer. Oh, watch out. <laughs> but you know what matters to Shanwell, first career homer. Caught in center field, no first career homer. Brandon Drury was some sort of bright spot for us this year. At least he's still here. Drury, oh, strike three. I gotta give credit to Baltimore though on their turnaround in just a few years. Look yeah. at them this year. First place, one of the best records. Like my man behind me said, good deal. And a Ren That ain't gonna be gone. It's all about the sound, man. Out of everybody we saw down on the field today, I think Gunnar Henderson was the coolest guy. He was talking to everybody, yes. signing. Yes. He was really cool. By and far, the he knows guy. a friend of yours, Connor Green. Connor Green. Yeah. They, they played together. Connor's the one that told us if you add, I reckon, before you <laughs> tell him anything, it'll give him a good laugh. Yeah. Gunnar, great job, man. <laughs> We're Logan Ohabi. I really hope he's our solid catcher for the future. Fingers crossed. We got two great catchers right there Ohapi and Rutschman. Will that be a gapper? Yeah. And it's off the wall. All right. Dig for two. And a hoppy is safe. Of course, that double turned into nothing. Typical Angels. Back to Adley Rutschman, who put a sour taste on my mouth during batting practice. We don't have to get into it, but I do hope you ground into a double play right now. Yeah, because he treated Austin like a step child. <laughs> Come on, Karma. Oh, Jorge Mateo's got that by a mile. There goes the double play. And it's over the head. Corey Mateo is lightning fast. He'll score. And Adley has a double. First time up. And right on cue. Oh my god. Copy and paste. Another hit. Orioles fans are strong here in Anaheim. Damn it. Baltimore Orioles home game. Yeah, I know. It's always like that here, Tony. That's not <laughs> cool, man. Our fans would actually show up if the team was a little bit better, maybe. Moving. As he makes the catch, two outs from first base and advancing to second or trying to. Oh! Santander is not happy with that. Oh my God. Ryan Mountcastle's refusing to move. Ah, uh, here he comes. Hey, Jack Flaherty's got a cup of Gatorade for him, though, you know, to catch his breath. Yeah, base knock channel. Whoa. No, that is the guy that we drafted this year. I think all the people that were downing Nolan Shanwell can now be quiet because he started his career with a hit streak. He's still playing very solid. And I think it's a good move to let him develop up here at the Major League Club. Where are you going to get better experience than the Majors, right, Tony? Yeah, yeah. Throw him in the fire, man. <laughs> Throw him in the fire. He'll figure it out. Now the coolest Oriole, in my opinion, Gunnar Henderson. And there he is. Look at his strike three. It's time. And Hefo cuts it away with the runner around. Hayes is coming home. See you later. Home's that home play. 
I was very shocked the Orioles sent him. Got him out. Kyron Harris gunned him down. The young kid. Good job, Ky Kyron. Kyron. Good job, Kyron. A little bit of a fielding blunder by Nolan Shanwell. We're going to find out if it's going to cost us. And, oh, come on, hang up. Hang up for Gritchick. Let's go. Oh, Hoppy takes a walk with two outs. We'll see if that becomes anything. All right, Moniac going to roll it to Gunnar Henderson. And with Moniac's speed, that'll be a base hit. He, yeah, he's yeah, smiling, he's, he's like, like, yeah, whatever, it's a hit. Full count on Gritchick. We'll ground it right there to Jorge Mateo. And of course, another inning where we get shut out. And do you get frozen? No, he walks him. Nolan Shenwell takes ball four. You know, for a kid who got drafted this year, his discipline at the plate is pretty insane. Brand injury just drew a walk. This is all with two outs. It'll be number two, Ren Gifo. Oh, off the glove of the pitcher. Might play in his favor. There we go, base is loaded. Let's let that moose loose. Come on, Tony. <laughs> why he's gonna come through? You know why? Why? Because he I left us his field right. uh, Yeah, good karma. Yeah. Left us field pass. Come on, moose. Oh my God, right at second base. Not able to make anything out of that. Gunnar Anderson is a part of that young Baltimore core. And a rope it. He's gonna show off his speed here. And he'll stop at second base with a double. Baltimore though, being able to process their young talent. Look at Jackson Holiday, who's 19 years old, and just got called up to triple A. Son of Matt Holiday, Tony. <laughs> home on the fire, man. They're home on the fire. They'll figure it out. Presents the tying run. Line to left center, base hit for Drury. That one rolling all the way to the wall. We're gonna get on the board! No Shanwell! Scores off a Brandon Drury double. Yeah. Two to one. We have a game now. It's up to Moose to try and tie this up. And that falls in front of Aaron Hicks. That's going to be the tying run of Brandon Drury. Let's go, Moose. Come on. Moose. Moose Stockings. Let's go. We're all tied up, baby. Moose. Oh, Hoppy on the ground. Gunnar Anderson. Late in the game is Cedric Mullins. Don't know why he didn't start. Oh my God, dude. dude let's go. Oh, those chants are just getting louder and louder. I don't know if I'm in Anaheim anymore. Gunnar Henderson. Strike three. That is not a ball, Tony T. Not a ball. That's line toward right to base it. Escobar will go all the way to third. The relay throw, not with. Hey, look at this triple by Eduardo Escobar. He had to swim a little bit on his head slide. He had to go like, ah, yeah. ah. He, did, he slid too early. Almost got out. Almost didn't make it. Round ball, base hit. RBI single late in the game gives us the lead. There he is. Let's shut the door on the Orioles, Carlos. Come on. Let's go, Carlos. Do it for the kids from El Segundo. Let's go. Got to get a win while they're in the house. Come on. Second one out. Drilled to the left, the left side at a base hit. And the Orioles have tied it up at three. Damn it. That little cheap double really ended up being the tying run, dude. Now we got Adley with the runner on, and that'll be a walk. Lead with a hit. Right field, Ryan. That's a base hit. Woo! I don't know what happened. Brandon Drury looked so lost on that ground ball. Unbelievable. Yeah, they're out here in full effect, bro. <laughs> Cedric Mullins goes for a poke. That'll be caught. All right. Moustakis, no. That'll be Ryan Mountcastle. And that is two outs now. Logan O'Hoppy is our last hope. Logan O'Hoppy gets a walk. All right. Passes it to the next guy. Can Mickey Moniak, the best Mickey in the OC, save the day, Tony? <laughs> yes, he can. <laughs> Mickey Moniak. He called it! Tony called it! Come on, just walk it off. Oh my god. 
Unless there's some crazy mess up, which there won't be, we're going to extras. For a long day, the camera's bit the dust. Gunnar Henderson leads off an extras, and that will be right here. One out, but it did move the runner to third. And right there, they score, and it's two outs. Damn it. Big Fujinami fan. <laughs> Billy loves Fujinami. <laughs> if they win because of that extra inning base runner and just a little small out in front of the plate, oh, that's going to be such BS. Escobar. And it'll at least allow him to tag up. Come on, go, Gritchick. And oh, barely made it. Come on, Cabbage, you got him right there at third. Oh my god, bro. Damn. Now would be a great time for the first homer. Oh my god. Damn it. Orioles win. I am starting to wonder if I'm ever going to see the Angels win again this season. Time's running out. That was a tough loss, man. But hey. There's always next year. That's the point I'm at already. <laughs> There's always next year. Oh my God. If you made it to the end of this video, then I want you to comment how happy slash sad you are with your MLB team. I'm in like a 20 foot hole right now of sadness. Like the video, subscribe, tell your mom, your dad, grandma, grandpa, pets, friends, sister, aunt, uncle, everybody you know to subscribe if they haven't already. I got this, you got this, we all got this, and I'll see you next time.